Hello, and welcome to this World Geography online training content video brought to you by the Georgia Department of Education. In this video, we will be addressing Georgia Standards of Excellence SSWG 2A, dealing with the development of diverse cultures across the world. Let's take a look at the standard and element we'll address in this video. SSWG 2 asks teachers to teach students to evaluate how the physical and human characteristics of places and regions are connected to human identities and cultures. Element A asks teachers to teach students to examine how ethnic compositions of various groups has led to diversified cultural landscapes, including, but not limited to, architecture, traditions, food, art, and music. Let's unpack that a little bit. The standard is essentially asking, how are land and people of a place related to the culture there? Now let's unpack element A. This element is basically asking, how does the ethnicity of any group lead to cultural practices there? In fact, these questions could be used as essential questions for and within a unit of instruction on this standard and element. In this standard and element of the GSE, it's important for students to understand that both land and people have an impact on the culture of any place. In other words, culture does not just appear randomly from nowhere. Instead, it is developed over time and influenced by both land and the people who are there. Let's look at this in two ways. First, let's look at how land can have an impact on culture. Then, we will look at how people have an impact on culture. I can just hear a student in the back row saying, how is it possible that land can have an impact on the way people live? The land around me doesn't impact how I live. Not so fast, my friend. It does. Let's take recreation, for example. Would you agree that recreation is a part of the way people live? In other words, a part of culture? Of course it is. How can one snow ski, mountain bike, or rock climb without mountains? How can one go whitewater river rafting, fly fish, or pan for gold without a river? How can one water ski, wakeboard, or paddleboard without the calm waters of a large lake? We could go on and on. And it's not just about recreation. We could continue with examples like how the mountains were seen as a place of the gods for the Incas and the Andes, the Greeks and the Carpathians, and the Hindus in the Himalayas, or how the rivers coming out of those mountains were holy and sacred, like the Maganga or Ganges River coming out of the Himalayas. How about the way that our land and climate determine what types of plants will grow and will become a part of our regular diet and clothing materials? Our physical geography, our land, does have a significant impact on the way we live. Now let's make the transition to how people have an impact on culture. More specifically, how the ethnic makeup of different places impacts the cultural practices there. After meeting somebody for the first time, what is one of the first questions asked of them? Where are you from? Why? Because understanding where someone is from is important to understanding the person. Our place of origin is a defining part of our character. However, it isn't quite that simple. While our place of origin is a defining characteristic, it can sometimes be difficult to ascertain what people are like from any given place, especially when it comes to multicultural places. In fact, the more multicultural a place is, the more we must dig to find answers. For example, if a person replied, I'm from New York, natural follow-up questions might ensue. Upstate or near the city? What borough? Etc. Therefore, it is essential for students to understand that places, especially those that are more multicultural, display a potpourri of cultural characteristics, including architecture, traditions, food, art, music, etc. So how does a place gain ethnic compositions of various groups, as the standard indicates? Different groups of peoples have been interacting for centuries. Of course, this encounter increased exponentially with the age of exploration near the turn of the 16th century. 
Invasion, trade, and various push and pull factors have led to cultural diffusion throughout the world. This dispersion of culture can manifest itself in a variety of ways. One way a blending of cultures may reveal itself is through the architecture. A prime example of cultural blending in architecture comes in the culturally diverse Safavid Empire. The Safavids were influenced by Arab, Ottoman, Persian, and even East Asian cultures. A specific example of unique architectural cultural blending is in the central Iranian city of Isfahan. This is a photograph of the varied architectural influences in Isfahan. Notice how unique it is due to the many cultural influences. Traditions are another way the ethnic composition of a group can demonstrate a diversified culture. For example, the yearly tradition of Carnival in Brazil demonstrates and celebrates immense ethnic diversity. Carnival is a traditional celebration of the cultures of native peoples, Portuguese, Latino, and African influences, traditions, and practices. Surely, when describing the place of Rio de Janeiro, the topic of Carnival would come up. It is a tradition that is central to understanding the culture of that place. What's interesting, and perhaps even ironic about this celebration, is that it was born out of tremendous pain and suffering. Most native people who came into contact with the Portuguese died due to disease or became slaves. Because so many of the natives died and could not work the cash crop fields of Brazil, the Portuguese brought over millions of slaves from Africa to fill in the gap. What's resulted, though, is a beautiful blend of a very diverse and unique culture. Ethnically diverse groups of people may also display the blending of cultures through food. Louisiana Creole cuisine is a blend of mostly French, Spanish, and West African foods. This yummy cultural blend has provided such dishes as jambalaya. And this isn't the only example of various ethnic groups having an influence on cuisine. All one has to do is look at American cuisine in general. It's very possible that a weekly meal plan for an American family consists of dishes from five different ethnic groups from around the world. Meatloaf on Monday, tacos on Tuesday, spaghetti on Wednesday, teriyaki on Thursday, and falafel on Friday. Okay, I don't know many people who have falafel on their regular dinner cycle, but hey, it's possible. Art is a reflection of life, right? Or is it that life is a reflection of art? Well, either way, artwork is certainly influenced by a variety of ethnic influences as well. In fact, sometimes the meeting of different cultures creates an entirely new genre of art. For example, the blending of Persian and Indian cultures created a whole new category of art, as seen in this picture. Let's talk music. The musical style of Americans living in the United States has been largely influenced by African musical tradition. The blending of African traditional music with modern influence brought about jazz and rhythm and blues, or R&B, which eventually led to rock and roll and a whole new list of musical categories with it. In fact, one could argue that if it were not for the blending of ethnically diverse musical ideas, that all modern music would cease to exist. Sorry, Taylor Swift and Jay-Z. The standard asks us to go beyond just architecture, traditions, food, art, and music. And while we could go on and on, we'll end here with the example of religious beliefs and how they too have been influenced by ethnically diverse groups of people. For example, a mixture of Aryan, Dravidian, and Indian cultures brought about Vedic culture and eventually Hindu beliefs. Hinduism is a complex system of beliefs with large amounts of variety within it, which is likely directly due to the ethnic and cultural diversity 
which brought it about in the first place. Students should understand that culture is both simple and complex at the same time. It's a paradox. It is simply the way people live. However, it is complicated because the way people live has been blended by the influence of ethnic diversity, which has overhauled the cultural landscapes of virtually every place on Earth. These influences have brought about some of the richest demonstrations of cultures coexisting, while understanding some cultures have been pushed by the wayside due to acculturation. The more ethnically diverse a place is, the more multicultural they can be, demonstrating these manifestations of their multiculturalism. Both land and people have a significant impact on who we are and who we are becoming.